What is up guys? Hey, it's your boy Badge Plug, and today I've got for you rookie Michael Jordan. Now, in the last one, I showed you all a two-way finisher, 81 overall of MJ, but I was thinking and I honestly believe that my two-way slasher build is the way better rookie Michael Jordan build. The only issue is if you want to be extremely realistic, this build is six foot five. You could make it at six six, but it's so much better at six foot five. So at 99 overall, it's gonna have a 99 driving dunk right away, a 63 pointer, 82 ball handle and a 98 steal with 92 perimeter defense 90 lateral quickness 99 speed 99 acceleration now you guys can see with the double hall of fame badges as well finishing and defense why i think this build is a perfect rookie michael jordan in mj's rookie year he averaged 28 points per game six assists two and a half steals a block and six and a half rebounds he came into the league as pretty much an mvp caliber player our first matchup is a slashing playmaker and a two-way finisher and i'm playing with it's hezzy on his pass first guard if you guys have seen me use that his pass first wing it is insanely good so today we're going to be going crazy in the park with the real rookie michael jordan now you see first play the game contact dunking when this man came into the league he was an athletic freak. To this day, about 35 years from his rookie season, he would still be a top athletic player in the NBA, right at the very top. You see Cradle dunking, he's just unstoppable on NBA 2K22. And guys, just a little quick update. Rookie Michael Jordan or not, I still love this build and it came out much better than i thought it would as well it's so good cradle dunking once again he's unstoppable too athletic what can you do you only have to make him shoot and then pray he doesn't make it has he into the iso you already know he's cooking up on that pass first wing i've showed you guys that build before it is amazing look at the triple threat oh spinning snatching back cooking up doing whatever we want to do on our opponent he is dazed and confused he's not able to hold michael jordan going down contact dunking in traffic he's too nice we haven't missed yet and then hezzy is in the iso now you already know he is just nasty with that build with the glitch animations and all that stuff it's like six foot eight it can dribble it's awesome so 13 to zero we're trying to get back into the iso he's pressing really high up right here stepping back trying to get a little bit of a cook you know what i'm saying i don't want to just run in and score right because he is playing me really high but i want to you know i want to cook him up a little bit go down behind the back die hezzy and he tips it goes out of bounds 13 to zero five seconds left we have to do something extremely quick i'm going down kick it to hezzy and he doesn't take the shot it's okay because this is a rookie michael jordan right it has hall of fame defensive badges you want to see that defense we can show you that defense going down catching the lob and we missed the lob it's okay rookie mistakes you know what i'm saying rookie mistakes but real quick i want you guys to let me know who you think the goat of the nba is who is the best player to ever play in the national basketball association so you see i'm going down hopping kicking it to as he's pulling up greening that thing now we've got slashing takeover and slashing takeover actually i just learned recently gives you like the best attribute boost it gives you like seven or eight different boost here attributes which some of them only give like two or three like shot creating takeover is not nearly as good as slashing takeover in terms of how many upgrades you get so anyway into the slashing take though he's fouling me we're trying to cook up trying to do our thing i could just run in i could you know rim run but i do want to try and do a little bit mj free throw line dunking oh my gosh in a park game this man is not right he is nasty. Anyway, here we go. Into the last play of the game. My man's cold. I'm driving down. Contact dunking him. No, no, I'm not passing that thing. Next is a slashing playmaker and a stretch forward. You might have thought, oh, the dude dropped down. He's definitely going to pass it. Nope. Does not matter. MJ cradle dunking. He's too athletic. He's too nasty. When he came into the league, this man was already a top player like at the very very top look at this i missed the three-pointer but it's okay he's gonna get the board i'm gonna run back out a little bit and hold up step back green that thing okay so look i told you all this two-way slasher it's not gonna be as consistent as my facilitating finisher with hall of fame shooting badges and you know 10 more shooting badges and 20 more three-pointer but this build can shoot you just seen it in live action contact dunking that man of course it's not going to be super consistent but also what's so great about this build is you have a 99 driving dunk each and every person i play against they know or they figure out 
very often that it's almost impossible to stop in the paint. So you basically have to be standing in the paint to get a good contest, meaning your shots are always going to be wide open. If you take your shots correctly, almost every single one is going to be wide open, which is gonna help you shoot even with that low rating. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna make it a lot easier versus if you had like, let's say a 75 three pointer, but your build wasn't that good at you know driving, you're still going to have to work for that shot. This build, everyone's standing in the paint, everybody, because they know what they have to do to try and get a stop. Now, 12 to zero in this game. I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what NBA player you wanna see next, college player, uh, Drake, it does not matter. I will try my hardest to bring it to you, okay? 12 to zero, I'm cooking up, snatching them back, going down, long athlete layup, I miss. And it's okay though, cause you came here for a rookie Michael Jordan, so you need to see the defense as well. Except for he takes up a bad shot, 10% contested. I guess it wasn't a horrible shot, but it wasn't necessarily a great shot either. And now we're back into the ISO. And I step out of bounds with the step back. Let me know if that happens to you guys. So now you get to see some more defense. I get a tip right there, and then he's going to wipe the shot. Of course, no sniper green or anything, and it still goes in, because that's 2K22 for you, but it's all right. I'm not mad about it. We get the ball back right away. Hold up, triple threat. Hold up, pass fake, going baseline, up and under, bow. That is rookie Michael Jordan for you. I mean, an athletic freak. Looking like Froby as well when he came into the league, man. They were just so athletic, it was insane. Even though they weren't that great of shooters, they got better over time and perfected all their crafts to become goats of basketball. I don't believe there's one goat. I believe there's multiple. You see, pulling up from three in live action, no cuts. I'm not showing you missing five threes before that. Zero cuts, pulling up. In this video, we're two for three from three. Now there's gonna be games where I go like one for four from three, but for the most part, you take that one shot, two shots a game, little mid range, something like that, and you're gonna be really consistent. 47% layup, I mean, <laughs> That's rookie MJ for you, right? 47% slashing takeover. We got layup and dunk boost on 90 something drive. Actually, we have a 99 driving layup right now with the slashing takeover, but still, I don't know how much that shot should go in. But hey, just for the video, it's rookie MJ going down. Layup, 32%, get off the court. It's your boy Badge Plug, you've been plugged in. Make sure to drop a like if you haven't yet. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'm out. Peace.